path around an object in Photoshop. First, let's work on our original image. I'm going to go to select and select subject. This should automatically work if you have a pretty decent contrast in your image. If not, I have other tutorials on how to select objects. And then what we're going to do is go to select, modify, and we're going to expand out a little bit. This is a very large image, so I might have to even go up to 50 pixels, but you may only need to go 10 pixels. It depends on you, and you can always go back and do it again. And then I'm also going to go to select, modify, smooth because there's going to be a little bit of jagged bumpy parts this is roughly a circular shape but it could work even on weird shapes and hands so i'm going to smooth it out maybe 20 pixels you don't want to go too crazy and lose the original edge once you've got your modifications ready then you can highlight any one of your marquee tools and right click on this and select make work path here's another part where you want to Increase the tolerance a bit. If you use a tolerance of one or zero, you're just gonna have way too many points. So you need to input anywhere from like one to 10 pixels here. So I'll go with 10 because I can get away with it. And then we only get a few points here, which will be easier to work with. But if you have a more complicated shape, you can use a lower tolerance. Next, I'm gonna grab my type tool. And now I'm gonna hover over the path where I wanna begin typing. So this part is important. Where you want your text to begin is where you want to click. And once you see that cursor change, you can click and it'll let you begin typing. So I can type out whatever I want and you can see our text appears. It's a little hard, it's white on gray, but I'll change the color so you can see. And here we have our text appear over this shape and I can continue typing out whatever I want. And you are probably gonna have to adjust a few things. So. If you ever double click on your text layer, it'll highlight all of the text. And here you can adjust the font, the size, which will be very important. Uh, make sure the justification is aligned on the right way. So, you know, right or middle or left will change the placement of it. In the character panel, you can adjust things like the tracking or the spacing of the text. So this will be very important. Let's say if you want to completely close the circle of your text. Uh, or if you somehow want to adjust a little bit, if you clicked a little bit too far one way, you do have a couple of options, you know. You can try to push the kerning back a little bit. It doesn't let you go past 1000, but it can give you a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, so you have options to sort of nudge and push your text how you need it to be. Uh, but if you messed up, you can always go back to the part where you first click and start your text from a different point. And from here, you can make little adjustments if you want, such as increasing the overall size of your path if you want to spread it out more or shrinking your path back down. But this is the basic steps for how to type along a custom path based on the shape of your object. Of course, you can use the same method to type in a circle or square if you just create a path of that shape. You can always grab your type tool and type along that path in the same way but this one's cool because you can base it around a custom selection so my name is justin odisho if you enjoyed this tutorial you can check out hundreds of more photoshop and other editing tutorials and more on the playlist in my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video